Okay guys, we're gonna take a look at the SNES uh, HDMI cable by Level Hike. Now this was sent to me by Level Hike, so I do appreciate that. Thank you, Level Hike, for sending me these uh, or this cable. I mean, um, but I do want to stress this is only for the Super Nintendo, because a lot of people are probably thinking it's for uh, all three systems: Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, the N64, and the GameCube. When in actual in actuality, it is not. Uh, at least this cable, and that is because this cable um, actually upscales the RGB image in, inside um, Super Nintendo model once, and the 3M1 cable does the S video signal inside model ones. I say model ones because only the launch the launch edition works with these. You can't use a SNES 2 or a SNES Junior or a Super Famicom 2 or Super Famicom Jr., whatever you want to call them. Those do not support S-Video or RGB without modification. So just be aware that when you buy these, make sure you have a Model 1 Super Nintendo. The Model 1s are the big, the bigger, fatter looking models. The Model 2s are the smaller ones without the LED lights um, and without the RF uh, out. Anyway, just, just for the purposes of the video I am using a Super Famicom um, Model 1 of course so without further ado we're gonna check out like three or four games I might do four uh, so here we go we're gonna check out Mega Man X or Rock Man X through AV first and then the HDMI so this is AV as you can see it says AV and TSC so let's check it out and uh... you know let me make it a fair test here real quick before I turn off the mic let me crank this up all the way again okay okay guys the mic will come off now and then Okay guys, so there you go, there's Mega Man X. Uh, I'm going to stop the video and switch over the games. The next one you're going to see is uh, Mega Man 7. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Again, that was through Standard AV. Okay guys, like I said, here's Mega Man 7 or Rock Man 7. Um, so yeah. 
I'm going to turn off the mic real quick, and then, just so you guys can hear the audio, the way it's intended to be heard, without the hissing of my mic, so, enjoy the gameplay. Oh yeah, again, this is standard AV, it's not HDMI. Okay, guys, there was a uh, Rockman 7. Um, again, that was standard AV. So, uh, stay tuned for, uh, Contra. I must have Contra Hardcore, that's Genesis. <laughs> Contra 3 Alien Wars. Uh, stay tuned for that. So, I'll be right back. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, here is Contra 3 Alien Wars. AV. I don't know why it didn't work before. But enjoy, guys. I'm going to mute the mic here, so you guys can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so there's a uh, Contra 3. I'm, I'm really rusty, I think, and I'm playing in like, year, I haven't played in like a, like a year or two, so pretty rusty at it, but there you go guys. Uh, the last game you're going to see is uh, Leg The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, here we go with the last game with The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Of course it's Japanese, but, but here we go. Enjoy. Alright guys, so there you go, there's uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, with standard AV, now I'm going to switch over to the HDMI, so uh, stay tuned for Rockman X, and then we'll just run through the other games, the other games again, show you the HD footage, so stay tuned. Okay guys, here's the HDMI footage with the Love Hike cable, again, thank you Love Hike for sending me this cable and uh, allowing me to go get it without having to spend any of my money although I was going to anyway but I reached out to them anyway and they were nice enough to send it to me so thank you very much uh, Level Hike uh, I hope you guys enjoy it uh, I will be uh, adjusting the volume because it is very very loud uh, via the HDMI on my headset uh, which means the audio is very good so um, so anyway guys Without further ado, let's take a look.
Okay guys, so there you go. There's the HDMI for Rockman X. It looks very good and it sounds very good. Uh, for the ne for Rockman 7 I will crank up the volume all the way so you guys get a fair test. Just to make my ears bleed just a little bit. That's alright though. It, it's alright for a video. I'll do it for a couple, uh, the, the last like minute or two I'll do it for Rockman 7. So anyway guys, stay tuned for that. Okay guys, like I said, I'm going to do Rockman 7 with the volume on my headset volume all the way up so you guys can get a fair test about what what the full volume is but then I'm going to crank it back down as soon as you guys start to hear music because it, it's very loud and I, w I don't want my ears to like bleed not literally but like figuratively but you get what I'm saying anyway here we go Oh my god, it took me forever to get that password. I was, I was try, trying to type it in fast, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> there you go, there's uh, Rockman 7. Uh, by the way, I, I, I wasn't trying to like, play through the entire album. I was just trying to play through enough to give you guys a good gist of what the image quality is, by the way. I'm actually pretty good at Mega Man 7. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the, the next one is going to be, I don't know why I said that. Uh, the next one is going to be Contra 3 Alien Wars again. So, uh, stay tuned for that. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here's a Contra 3 for the Super Famicom with the HDMI cables, baby. And this looks crispy, I'm telling you, man. I love the way this looks. Hope you guys enjoy it. God, I love these cables, man. <laughs>
Why does it keep doing that? It's not going away, damn it. I'm sorry, guys. Ah, I got my groove back a little bit. I I started getting into it. Sorry, I forgot I was recording. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, we're gonna move on to uh, late the past. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, the last game here is gonna be uh, Legend of Zelda: Late to the Past. I thought about doing Earthbound too in this video, but eh, I don't really need to show you guys Earthbound. I mean, I'm not far in the game, so I thought I could show you any battles or nothing. So. That's why I decided to skip out on Earthbound, but let's do, let's fire up uh, some Zelda 3. So let's see what the, the, what this uh, what this game looks like. Spoiler alert! It looks really good.
Okay, guys, so, uh, my closing thoughts on these cables, man, are oh, they're freaking great, man. I love these cables. I'm so glad I found out about level hike and what, they, what they're doing. These cables are fantastic. I love these cables. So, I definitely recommend you get them uh, just for your Super Nintendo or if you happen to have an RGB modded uh, top loader or an RGB modded N64 or an RGB modded AV Famicom, which I'm seriously considering doing in my AV Famicom because of this. Like, um, I'm considering uh, sending it somewhere or having someone do it. Uh, it's not too hard of a mod to do either, so it's it's they're worth picking up if you have a Model 1 Super Nintendo. And uh, you'd probably get a little bit of a better picture if you have a one-chip model. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard the RGB signal in the one-chip model is better than uh, later models. Because I heard our, uh, the uh, one-chip models are like early models of it, so... I don't I don't know if that's if that's accurate if my assumptions are accurate but I've heard the RGB signal is better um, so yeah th there is that um, but um, like I said you can always get the uh, three and one cable too if if you just want a solution for all your your uh, classic systems your Super Nintendo your 64 your GameCube, you can just get that. But if you're looking to get the best possible picture out of your Super Nintendo, I would buy the buy these because they're just for the Super Nintendo and they take the best picture and upscale it to 720. I'll put a picture of what it looks like with S video, um, and compare it with Link to the Past. You'll be able, you'll be able to tell a difference. My my friend it was it was even it was even able to tell a difference between them um, but that that's not to say that like if you're not a diehard Super Nintendo fan I would say just buy the 3 in 1 if you just want a quick solution for 3 systems and you just, can just quickly inter interchange then just buy the 3 in 1 but if you want the best picture out of your Super Nintendo like me and you're a nerd and you love the Super Nintendo like I do then get this cable this cable is definitely worth getting um, so I, well, once again, I want to thank Level Hike for sending me these cables. I've been in contact with them ever since I've gotten them, telling them how much I love them and how much I really appreciate them. I'm um, taking the time to actually um, let me take a look at, the, look at these cables. You can go purchase them now on Amazon. Uh, I think they're thirty thirty dollars. I'm pretty sure they're like thirty dollars. So it's not it's not bad. It sounds like a lot, but for for a quick and easy solution for for HDMI without anything special, it's it's worth the money. So please go check them out. I, I really do implore you to. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you did. Uh, make sure you click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. Um, please follow me on Twitter and Facebook as well because I'll, I'll post on there when I post new videos and what I'm working on stuff. Uh, check out the links below in the description for Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and also where to buy these. Whew. Uh, that was a mouthful. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, check out the end screens on your screen right now as well. One for subscribe, one for a recommended video, probably another level hike. Cable just to be uh, thorough and make sure you see all the videos I put up because I pretty much have all these cables. The ones I don't have are the Turbo Graphics one and the uh, Neo Geo one. But I'm sure they're just as good as these. So anyway guys, and the last one is from my Patreon. Um, and I really do appreciate Patreon support guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you do support me, if you decide to support me by clicking that button, thank you so much. If not, I understand you guys. It, it's completely okay. But I really do appreciate the support. It really does help with the channel a lot. It lets me get cool stuff like this and other stuff um, that I wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be able to get otherwise. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Level Hike. You guys are so awesome. Thank you guys so much for uh, trusting me to give you a good, honest, fair review. So thank you guys so much. I really do enjoy these cables. 
I was not paid to say any of the stuff that I've said in any of these reviews. I just want to be completely clear about that. So I just want to let you guys know that I was not paid or anything like that to say anything like this. I would just send these cables. I asked them after I purchased the PSP cables if I could take a look at these. And they were more than happy to help me take a look at them. So I, I thank you guys for watching. I thank them for sending them to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Go check these cables out. They're awesome. I love them. I, I, I can't stress this enough. I'm, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sending them to me. I love you. I love you all. Peace out.